and action. Welcome everyone to another episode here, Jaws Podiatry. Today we will be treating double whammy planner warts. <laughs> Two warts, not tiny, not huge. I would say medium size. They are. They've, they've been around for several months. November of two thousand eighteen. Historically, uh, first things that people do, they run over to any pharmacy, they try to buy these over-the-counter items, products. These are salicylic acid pads. They do more harm than good. They really do. Let's go here to a little skin. Wart. These are blood vessels, right? And they have like kind of like these roots, right? It's a virus, these roots. And what, you know, how does the wart, the virus, how does it survive? So the blood is feeding all of this, keeping the wart, Happy. That's the side view. Let's go to the top view, right? That's the foot. Lesion. A lot of people will see these tiny little black dots or red dots these are these are little pinpoint hemorrhagic lesions okay these are the vessels that are feeding the wart interesting huh so at first glance and even sometimes the patient will not be able to see these so at first glance it will look like oh just you know, a simple wart. And that's historically what ha <clears throat> excuse me, what happens. They just think it's a it's a callus and they leave it alone. But what they fail to realize is that leaving it alone and you're just it's it's getting worse, it's getting bigger. And sometimes it'll get bigger quick, or sometimes it'll get bigger, you know, slower. Right? So what are we gonna do today? We're just gonna go ahead and First and foremost, there are different ways. Elizabeth, can you give me a little tilt there? Thank you very much. Let's tilt, yeah. Super. So I want everyone to come around here. One, two. Small one, little baby one, three. I don't see any more. So what we usually do is, if you feel any discomfort, just let me know, okay? Uh, and just please don't move, that's all. So what we basically, you okay? I'm okay. What we basically do is, you know, she's had this for a very long time. So what we're doing is we're just removing the callus. We're not cutting the skin, okay? Just again, and, and now going back to the drawing board, right? Look at everyone, look at the little black dots, what I mean. So the black dots are, they basically are just the vessels and the little capillaries, so to speak, that just pop and they dry out. Now, as we get deeper, the patient will tell me and tell us, you know, if if it's gonna, you know, if it's bothering her a little bit too much or if we can continue, the deeper we go, the better it is. That way the medication, right, that we use, which is painless, will definitely be more effective. 
Okay. And we'll continue. Again, since November. And we're trying to get to that layer. There's there's a layer where we want to try to get to. So where we'll see a little bit of bleeding. Let me see if we can get there slowly. Yeah, last weekend, like, I was pulling those little strands and they started bleeding. Even the patient has tried <laughs> own techniques. <laughs> Everyone can see there, we're getting a little bit, a little bit deeper. And these are staged procedures. What I like to use is something called cantharone, also known as beetle juice. Why beetle juice? It's actually derived the solution from a beetle. Extremely effective. There's different ways to treat, and it really depends on size, uh, age. There's different ways to treat warts. Electrodesiccation, cryotherapy, cold spray, chemical, you know, using a chemical chemical such as the one that we're going to use today which is extremely effective in my opinion I've been using it for many 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 years and we we've had some great success eradicating small and even large lesions for the for the lesions that have been present for years okay we basically just surgically excise them. The only problem is that surgically excising these lesions, the big ones, you cannot suture them. You have to leave it open and no one likes having a huge hole on the bottom of their foot for a couple reasons. Number one, it hurts. So yes, you eradicate the problem sometimes if you don't if you don't remove the entire warty tissue it will recur you okay there yeah okay. okay so that's the issue with surgical excision and i leave it as a last resort for the real tough cases if necessary you know we don't walk on our hands we walk on our feet So it's really, really, really tough to, especially for young kids, we see a lot of pediatric patients here. And it's very traumatic for the younger population, adolescents and kids, the whole numbing, uh, anesthesia, it's very traumatic. And I don't like that because we love Okay, we'll stop there. As everyone can see now that you can actually see the demarcation. Now we're gonna start on the other one. Skin is a little bit softer here. This is, I think, the, the one that came after, right? Yeah. Created that one. And if anyone is wondering, where did these warts actually come from? Wart, you know, the, the virus is everywhere. It's everywhere, but once there is an opening in the skin, usually in weight-bearing areas like here, this is where we put a lot of weight. Also here, you don't see warts a lot in this area, maybe here, maybe here, and all of this, you know, especially in kids as well, because we do see, you know, warts, a lot of warts on kids. They're always barefoot. They have these little fissures, any little crack in the skin, that's how the warts get in. That's how they inoculate. No, that looks okay. <laughs> it just feels more sore. It is a little bit sore. And if, you know, when we press them, they shouldn't hurt. But when we squeeze them, the pain is excruciating. It's so bad. Right. That's what I do. I squeeze them. <laughs> the, so I hope everyone is hearing that. The patient is saying that, yeah, it really hurt. These hurt. But what's incredible is that in kids, they don't really complain a lot, right? 
So what we're going to do next is I think we're almost to that level. Okay. Now everyone can really appreciate the actual size and demarcation of the lesions. The two warts. And then right here, I'm just going to trim this one a little, little bit here. That's it. We'll put a little bit of that acid here as well. Let's see if we can go a little bit more before the patient kicks me in the face. That's good enough there. Okay, Elizabeth, can you hand me? Well, I'll get it, it's okay. Got a close up there. That's the Beetlejuice. This is the Beetlejuice. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is, um, this is Canthron again. Believe it or not, it's derived from a beetle. This is potent. This is a real deal. It's not gonna break. No. The wonderful thing about this this solution is that it doesn't hurt. And when you're dealing with when you're dealing with kids. This is kids. Right there. Put a little bit like that. Not too much. Very, very strong. It's got a very, very strong odor. I don't know if you can smell it. It is. Right there. And yes, everyone is going to complain about everyone outside, that they're loud. <laughs> and that's it. I'm going to be a little bit generous because I really want to get this initial, this initial application to... That's it. Okay, so what did we do today? Had a young patient, 20s, came in, two lesions on the bottom of the foot. Historically, whether adults or pediatric patients or even younger patients, they will see this and at first glance think it's a callus or that they stepped on a foreign body and they will sort of try to do some things on their own, like apply these uh, over-the-counter Dr. Scholl pads, these salicylic pads, which make uh, everything um, worse um, because it's not strong enough to get down to the core of the problem. So the patient came in today. We treated the, the two lesions with the cantharone which again, also known as beetle juice, and it is extremely effective. And like I said before, we, we try to put the formula, right, together, age, level of activity, um, and see what, uh, you know, the length of time that the lesions have been there for, and then we, we cater a specific treatment plan for that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, this video. I will definitely will put up a follow-up so people can actually compare what's gonna happen during the course of the next two weeks. Like always, www.jawspodiatry.com, Instagram, Dr. Tojam, Jaws Podiatry, our Facebook fan page, and last but not least, Jaws Healthcare, our YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day, everyone.